Hi, in this video we're going to complete working with Microsoft Excel functions. We said that functions are predefined formulas, okay? They are built in equations in Excel. You can use them whenever you want. Here we have orders and transportation information of June. Uh, we're having number of orders, drivers, names, items they delivered and the destination of delivery we need to calculate how many orders made in june meaning we need to count how many orders made in june so we're going to use the count function we're having main three types of the count function count count A and count F. The main function or the main usage for the count function is to count number of cells that have value. For example, here we need to calculate number of orders. So, in cell K7, okay, we're going to insert from the insert function, account function, select the orders we made to know how many orders did we made. We're having 12 orders, okay? If we counted them, they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? So, what if I deleted one of them? Okay, the number of orders now is 11, deducted by 1. So, count is counting only cells that have value. Okay, if we're having an empty value, it will not be counted. It should have value to be counted. For example, if we're having 0 here, it will be counted or not. What do you think? Click enter. Yes, it will be counted. Zero is a value. So, having an empty value in a cell, it will not be counted using the count function. If it has a zero, it's a value. So, it will be counted. Control Z. Okay. So, what is the difference between count and count A and count F? The difference between count and count A, count is only counting numbers. It's used for numerical value. Count A can be used for um, any values, for numerical values, for text, for anything, for a date and time and so on. So we're using count only for counting numbers. Count A will be used to count any values, text, uh, date, and time, um, even numbers could be counted by count A. We can try count A, delete the count from insert function. Okay, if we didn't, sorry, if we didn't find count A here, it should be in statistical. Okay, again, select any function and count with the first letter of the function. So, I'm just clicking C. Okay. Here we have count and count A. And a description will be displayed here. Count the number of cells in a range that are not empty. Okay, select and numerical values here they are 12 so what if we selected driver's name okay so again delete insert okay search for count again i'm clicking on c count a we're gonna try driver's name okay again something else we're trying something other than the numerical values. 
okay they are 12 so count a will count um, text value it will count letters and words and so on so they are five what about count f why do we use count f we're using count f to count a range according to a certain criteria for example here we need to calculate number of drives made by each driver okay we need to calculate how many drives made by John May okay select cell Z19 and insert a count F function why did we select count F we need to select from the range here names of drivers and our criteria will be John May. We're having two options to type the word John May here in the criteria. Make sure it has uh, the same spelling. Uh, the caps uh, letters should be caps. The uh, lower case uh, should be lower case, and so on. Easier we can select the cell. Okay, John May. They are two drives. Okay. The second uh, driver is Peter White. Okay. Can we like fill handle? Is that correct? No. We're having a different criteria for each driver. In each count F, we're gonna select the name of the driver so we're gonna do Peter White again from here count F okay and the range as the name of the drivers okay my criteria this time will be Peter John sorry Peter White and make sure you're selecting Peter White from the range if you're gonna type with your hand it's okay but if you're going to select uh, the, the name of the criteria or the, the criteria you need to select the criteria from the range okay so it's three okay to make sure we can count here the name of Peter White repeated three times he made three drives one and two and three okay we're gonna make last one George Remy from here insert function count f again our range will be the name of the drivers names of the drivers and the criteria is george Remy here he made two drives using the same function count f we're going to calculate number of items delivered to Boston so from the range here we need to know how many items delivered to Boston so how many times Boston has repeated here okay we're going to select the cell G19 okay insert account F function Again, our range would be the destination and the criteria will be here, Boston, three times. Here we have three orders delivered to Boston. We're going to do NY. F, select the destinations and the criteria is an Y. Five items or five orders were delivered to N Y. For the homework this week, after watching uh, the video, this video. Uh, you're gonna find the same Excel sheet posted on Classera. 
starting this week as we said uh, the homework will be posted on Classera and submitted as well on 